Chris here with another sponsored video for you all. This video is sponsored by Turbo Dork, and we're going to be showcasing their metallic paint line. So we're, to demonstrate, we are going to use a Wraith Guard model from the Eldari line. This model has been primed with Steinal Res Gloss Black over the uh, body and the head. The head has been left separate so that we can work on that separately. To get started, we're going to use Turbo Dork's Red Rum. This is a fun red, deep red color. This is an entirely metallic line, and as you can see here, they come in nice little fancy little labels. They are a 17 mil bottle, and they are a dropper style bottle, and so they are airbrush ready, and they also work uh, with regular paintbrush as we will see later on. I've uh, quickly used some uh, painter's tape to just quickly mask off the swords as we are going to be working on those separately and I don't feel like, you know, building up a whole bunch of layers onto the model. We're going to use a Badger Patriot 105 to apply this paint. We're spraying at around 20 PSI and as you can see, we're simply just going to work our way around the model and uh, basically uh, this is going to be a fairly quick process as I'm just laying this on. Now, of course, it is very key to use a gloss prime when applying uh, metallics and that goes for any metallics, but with these Turbo Dork, they really sit very, very nicely on top of a nice gloss primer. And as you can see here, we're just going to quickly work our way around the model, laying this down. Of course, we're not laying it down too heavily, but you can see we build up a nice even tone across the model. I maintained a steep angle just to use a little bit of the black of the model to provide a little bit of shadows just for just for giggles sake anyway. And so as you can see, it's all ready to go. Next, we are going to bust out the Agrax Earthshade Gloss Variety. And this is from Citadel. This is uh, a fairly familiar um, accessory to a lot of painters. And we're going to apply this fairly generously onto the model. And this is very key. We use the Gloss Variety as this will maintain a nice metallic luster as well as going into all the little nooks and crannies of the model and uh, give us that nice uh, shade experience that we often uh, associate with the shade washes and as you can see we're just quickly working our way around uh, be sure not to allow too much to pool up into any areas but you can see we're applying it fairly generously and you can see even some of the areas that looked a little bit matte before after the airbrushing phase uh, you can see they come popping right back after that's dry you can see here we're all ready to go and with the model uh, in this phase here, we uh, can uh, basically go a few different directions. We can apply another highlight, either a zenithal, zenithal type of uh, highlighting scheme, or we can just simply do an edge. For that, we're simply just going to do some edging. We're going to use red rum and we're going to mix it with multi-pass. This is a fabulous, rich orange color and this is a really fun way now we're going about this in the typical fashion in which we highlight these miniatures uh if you want to glaze or you know uh do a two brush blend or anything like that manner uh you pretty much can accomplish that and again i will demonstrate that later on in this video as well so basically i'm going to go with two drops of red rum and two drops of multi-pass and you can see here, we're just going to quickly mix this up. And once it's thoroughly mixed, you can see it gives us a nice rich tone to highlight with. Uh, it's just basically, it's just giving us a mid tone. I didn't want to go with uh, multi-pass right away as it'd be kind of just a little bit abrupt. And I just didn't really want to go with that. So here I'm just doing a simple edge highlighting. I'm catching most of the high points around plates. Uh, again, with a simple edge highlighting, uh, you pretty much go around the armor. It's not a fairly realistic way of highlighting but uh, with a lot of GW models uh, it looks uh, pretty snappy and uh, is a lot of fun and is a quick way to get your models done really providing a lot of color giving a lot of depth again you can see we're just simply following along most of the edges around the model now again this is not really um, a, mo um, a tutorial on how to paint this model but really just kind of working with metallics and as you will notice as i did with the airbrush and as i'm doing here i'm not using any thinners and i'm basically just allowing a bit of the dampness of the brush to thin the color out a little bit uh, otherwise, you really don't need any thinners for these colors as they are pretty thin to begin with. And so uh, you can see that uh, they just apply very, very nicely. And uh, because they are fairly thin, if you're not happy with the first pass, you can always lay another pass down and get an even brighter tone. So a bit, uh, it's a bit like glazing in that regards. 
Next, we're going to come in with some multi-pass all on its own. And this is just to basically pick out any of the uh, angles and corners and just basically bring a final highlight. And you can see how bright that orange is. Uh, it's really fantastic. And this is really a fun way to do these models. And in fact, I'm probably going to do some of my Wraith units like this because it just looks really darn good. And so you can see here, we're just simply going around again, just going for more of the uh, prominent edges and such. And as you can see, as I lay just one little quick little layer down, uh, it is quite obvious that there's a nice little highlight there, but in some points I will come back and apply a second little edging over the same uh, orange and go for a bit more uh, of a richer tone, brighter tone, go for just a little bit more contrast. Again, this really wouldn't be key uh, if we had gone over with Agrax Earthshade, uh, the regular variety because that would have given us a matte finish and then coming in with these bright edges uh, it just wouldn't look quite right so you can see here we've completed the model and the edging now we're going to move on to the head again it's been given a gloss uh, prime using Stano Res's gloss black and I'm going to use pearly gates and steel and blue steel both from triple dark the one on the right is the uh, older label and so um, you know we're okay it's not gonna doesn't really mean anything and of course uh the paint has been mixed in a one-to-one -one fashion using the patriot 105 spraying it around 20 psi and just laying down a nice even coverage now i went for the mix rather than just simply laying pure um, blue steel down uh, because i didn't want to go for too blue a look as i'm going on Mahan appearance with this color scheme using metallics so using pearly gates as kind of the white of the color scheme uh, I think you guys kind of get my reasoning here, so I'm just not going too blue. I'm gonna use a Renegade Chrome here, spraying it around, uh, I turned the PSI down to about 12 to 15 PSI, I just turned it down just a little bit, using pure, pure pearly gates. And we're just concentrating on the upper portion of the little kind of crest on the back of the head, as well as the central dome of the head as well. And really, it just goes by fairly quickly here, just laying that uh, initial highlight on there. Now, here on camera, it's not terribly obvious, but to the eye, you do see those transitions there. Next, I'm going to continue on with the pearly gates. Uh, basically, what we're going to do is we're just going to slap this onto the palette, and we're going to just do a quick little edging around the bottom portion of the helmet. Again, we're trying to stay kind of consistent with our use here. And also I want to show how easily this stuff just applies onto the model. Now you can see here, I apply an edge to the, um, to the head here. And, uh, basically what I'll do is I'll, will, I will go back and apply a second little layering onto those areas as I wasn't entirely satisfied with just how um, bright it was. And here you can see I'm applying it onto the crest and it's going on fairly straightforward here. But again, on the head, I just wasn't entirely happy with it. And so I just reinforce the uh, overall look of the highlights itself. You can see on the bottom of the head there and I was like, eh, it's not bright enough. I want more of an edge. So I just go back and apply more. And you can see there, just again, give us a nice defined edge. And there we are. I was much happier with that, giving us that nice cool steel. Next, we're going to work on the swords. I've already taken off the masking off the, um, the swords there, and I'm going to use Caraco. This is a nice, fantastic kind of teal color or kind of turquoise, teal, more of a teal, I suppose. I'm probably wrong in both regards, but either way, I'm going to slap a little bit onto the palette and I'm going to show you just applying this by brush. Again, this is applied over a gloss black prime onto that surface. So again, if you want that metallic to really have a nice luster, I definitely would recommend you apply a gloss black. Here you can see I'm just simply using a brush to apply and I'm going to end up applying about uh, two or three layers onto the surface. Again, because these paints are fairly thin and on top of a black base, it really helps um, make the metallic pop and stand out. Uh, to get a nice solid color on that surface, you can see just some of the brush strokes kind of appeared there and you can see just a little bit of the black poking through and I was entirely satisfied with that. So that's why I decided to come in with a few more layers. And so once I did a few more layers, I was much happier with the end result there. We could have done that by airbrush, but I wanted to kind of showcase applying many different techniques with these colors. Curco and Pearly Gates. I'm going to slap these onto the palette. And again, as I mentioned earlier, we are going to do a bit of two brush blending. Again, you can do this with uh, these paints as you can do with pretty much any paints, but I wanted to demonstrate them with this. 
as uh, I basically load one brush with pearly gates and I load the other brush with Kerco and I basically just lay a nice little dollop of the color down onto the blade and then begin laying in Kerco just to blend that out a bit. And basically I'm gonna work my way around the blades and just do that. Now again, uh, because of the way the lights kind of work, it, it's kind of hard to see the transition on here, but there is a transition there. The eye kind of sees it. Uh, but uh, if you really want, you can see how it does uh, lay on fairly thin with that uh, pearly gates. And in fact, if you want to glaze those highlights, uh, that would also yield a really fantastic result as well. But I just wanted to demonstrate just, you know, that you can pretty much use these paints any which way you can, uh, any way you want and uh you know there is no limitation to these colors they go on fantastic uh they are a nice thin body paint again they're designed for airbrush but they can apply by brush just as easily and you can see here again i'm just going to come in with a little bit with my fine detail brush and i'm just going to basically edge the back of these blades i could also did the cutting edge as well but i decided man doesn't really need it i just wanted to concentrate on the back edge of the blade just to make that really stand out and actually, I think I did the cutting edge, like a, a, a glazing on that cutting edge as well. But that was pretty much it. Now, that is pretty much it for the Turbo Dork Metallics. Now, they do have a whole bunch of paints uh, available in varying shades and colors, as well as their uh, color shifting uh, paints as well, which are fa fantastic. And also, they are uh, being distributed by a UK group. Uh, exit 23 in the UK so if you're in the uh, European side of things you can get your hands on these colors as well but there it is that's all metallics attached the head and then here is the finished model I just simply uh, colored in the tunic and uh, you know picked up the gemstones and everything like that but that is it uh, hopefully you guys found this uh, informative uh, I definitely would recommend these metallic paints to anybody out there I, I do really enjoy these and I think that Turbo Dork has been uh, doing it right for these last uh, couple of years thank you for watching and uh, be sure to visit us over at miniwargaming.com